la 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 I would like to thank everyone for my likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, as well as my comments. Y'all, my comments, though. All the love that you give me, I receive it, and I send it back to you times a million. I love you guys. Welcome to my family. Welcome to the family, new subscribers. We laugh, we cry, we uplift, we enlighten, and we give love most of all. We don't judge here, but we don't get down like that. All right. We family, okay? Um... This will be from the mid month of July, mid July 2018, 15th to the 31st. Okay, this is not personal; it's a general. So if you do need a personal, I'm not 100% booked. My my turnaround time is 24 hours out, so you can never be scheduled more than 24 hours from the time that I initially talked to you. Okay. Um. Also, Leo's for y'all birthday. Since y'all after cancer, I will be running a special. Um. Up until the 25th of August. Um, for our personal readings for 30 minutes, it's only $40, only for Cancers and Leos, okay? Only for Cancers and Leos. It is my birthday gift to you guys to give y'all a reading for the low low, okay? We give you all the juice within the 30 minutes, okay? So, I love you guys in advance, um, and we finna get into a year and messages, okay? Leo's intuitively, I feel like you miss somebody. Some of y'all miss a fire sign, and for others, it's the air sign. For some of y'all, y'all got an earth sign finna come and knock you off your feet, but you gotta get over that. You gotta learn and forgive, and you have to accept the fact that you can't change everybody. You can't change nobody. They have to want to change it themselves and stop holding on to people who have shown you they ain't worth being kept. Leo's, a lot of y'all have lost that. Oof to yourself. It's like you needing your fight back. I feel like for those of you who are dealing with a water sign, this person possibly have possibly been putting out your fire. You know, or you maybe you feel like you've lost that passion there. But that passion I'm hearing is still there, Leo, but you have to first light it back up within yourself and move for yourself. You don't move for other people and don't lose yourself in doing other things for other people, okay? I'm hearing disappointments may arise. But at the end, you grow, you grow, you grow. Okay? So I have my mid-July, my Leo game. Let me show you. Oh, Leo is in the fall. They want to fall. All right now, Leos. I want to be a Leos. Can y'all tag me in mid July? <laughs> All right, Leos. I pull from the um, Doreen Virtue Crystal Angels Oracle cards, and I'm gonna go ahead and get out the angel messages first. Okay. I pull clear cords for you guys, but they fail. Y'all know how I get on. I let them fall. Okay. Clear cords. Let yourself feel all your emotions. Let your entire rainbow spectrum of feeling. Let I'm sorry. Let your entire rainbow spectrum of feeling is sending you important messages and guidance. I feel like Leo, y'all are learning how to express y'all love instead of walking away and sweeping shit under the rug like up, oh, cut y'all off, whatever. Y'all are learning how to close doors and actually deal with people, deal with your emotions, not wear them on your sleeve, but however communicate them in a way that doesn't involve the ego. And that is what spirit is wanting to call you towards, okay? With this clear quartz, it says, This card guides you to open your heart to the entire rainbow spectrum of emotions. This is a key to feeling great love. By allowing yourself to acknowledge the not-so-pleasant feelings, you drop defenses and open your heart. When we deny the existence of anger, sadness, and, su S I'm sorry, and such, we close off part of our hearts. 
and the deny and the denial means that these few feelings become repressed, stuffed down, and hidden, where they are and can affect our mental, emotional, and physical health. This card can be a sign of receiving valuable creative inspiration based on some challenges that you've experienced. Now you want to help others overcome or avoid the same challenges. By delving into unpleasant feelings through creative expression, you allow others to know that they are not alone in their feelings. This could be a business idea, a form of healing, a book, a workshop, or some other service or product that will help those who are experiencing similar differences. So I feel like, Leo, a lot of y'all are going through karmic things. Some of y'all went through a lot of karmic things, and it was only simply to ground your energy, okay, to help you to bask in that of unconditional love. Again, it's not about changing nobody else. It's about accepting the fact, accepting those feelings. Can I grow with this? Can I see me moving forward or does this upset me to the point where I want to put it down? Embrace that in order to know what love is truly your love and the love that is for you, okay? I also pulled the turquoise card. It says spiritual path. Your true beliefs are becoming clear to you, which prompts you to make necessary life changes. This card says this card comes to you because you've been praying and meditating about your spiritual path. You may be feeling conflicts with your true beliefs, wondering whether to take a traditional or alternative road. Perhaps you have been studying or attending different religious and spiritual groups trying to see where you fit in and find other people aligned with your values. Your religious upbringing and family culture are factors here. While you would like to make your spiritual path decisions independently, you find yourself being influenced by your past. You also want to make the right choices that is best for your soul and you do, not, and you do recognize that some traditional beliefs have merit. Even when people have the same religious faith, they have different interpretations. It's unlikely that any two individuals agree on every aspect of religion or spirituality because it's deeply pers a personal experience. Your life lessons continue to shape your beliefs, so keep praying and following your guidance. Finding people who have similar or complementary beliefs, even if they are not identical, can lead to, drop to deep friendships and help you navigate your own spiritual path. This card can also be about relationships that is experiencing conflict because partners have difficulty, I'm sorry, have different religious or spiritual convictions. This is a challenging situation for both people and it needs to be handled with prayer and often counseling. Okay? So it's the turquoise, okay? From the dreams of Gaia Tarot deck, I pulled the Oh damn it, I had a whole moment. I pulled the nine of air so i feel like a lot of y'all are going within and having to release those doubts release that negativity release that blame release that resentment release 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 the feeling behind it and learn the lesson okay because it's gonna it's you know it's gonna help bring balance it's gonna bring balance okay it's gonna help bring balance also grounding yourself right now a lot of y'all need to spend a lot of time outside Okay, because I feel like some of y'all could be dealing with the earth energy, okay? But some of y'all are needing are needing to go outside in nature, okay? Because it's gonna it's going to for one help ground your energy as well. Two, it's also going to allow you to kind of open up to nature and be grateful. You learn you learn to find the smile, the beauty out of the small things. A lot of y'all will be finding the beauty out of the small things between the fifteenth and the thirty first of July. A lot of y'all are going to embrace true love between the 15th and the 31st and through this grounding will you be able to recognize the love that is for you your love okay and how you give out your love okay okay between the 15th and the 31st some of y'all will be taking a leap of faith okay maybe you've been putting in work with the earth sign capricorn towards virgo you've been working you've been dealing with this person for eight years eight months eight weeks eight days I feel like some of y'all have a brand new earth sign, okay, and this person just came into your life and they're trying to offer you something material, something tangible, or something to move forward on, okay, that you can move forward in. And I feel like some of y'all are having an issue with taking a leap of faith because maybe y'all have been dealing with someone else or waiting on someone else to come and take a leap of faith towards you. So some of y'all is definitely an area that you've been trying to work a relationship, work out a relationship with. You definitely want to offer this person something tangible. And for some of y'all from the 15th to the 31st, you're going to get exactly what you're looking for because I feel like a lot of y'all are manifesting this energy, okay? 
very fast. You have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, and they right next to each other. For some of y'all, y'all could be offering a brand new tangible the beginning or receiving that from a Scorpio Cancer Pisces, okay? But I feel like some of y'all have been defensive with this person in the past, especially if it's an Aries, an Aries, or maybe this person was defensive towards you. I feel the defensiveness on both ends, okay? Because what, what you don't know is this person, first off, this is a twin flame to y'all. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. You have the Fool card. You have the Lovers, okay? You have the emperor, all right? For some of y'all, it's definitely a Scorpio, okay? For some of y'all, y'all have a Scorpio trying to offer y'all a new tangible beginning because they know that you're their soulmate. You're their twin flame, okay? You're their, you're the yin, you're the yang to their yin, okay? And for some of y'all, it's a Gemini, okay? I feel like you have a Gemini. Maybe you've been defensively in the past. Maybe you have children with this person and you know that this person's a soulmate. What you don't know is... Or some of y'all have a soulmate, but you have a twin flame. Y'all, some of y'all have a soulmate and a twin flame energy in. But some of y'all is definitely a Scorpio. And I feel like maybe you walked away from that person and that person walked away from you in the past, okay? Or maybe left you without clarity, okay? But I feel like some of y'all are going to take a leap of faith. But some of y'all is definitely Aries with this emperor part. Y'all wanted to take a leap of faith and offer this person something tangible, okay? And I feel like it's definitely a person from your past. Okay, maybe this person has a lot of options, and that's possibly why you go out in your heart and you know, kind of being stiff. But you're needing to let that energy go and express yourself. Some of y'all are definitely trying to are going to be receiving a brand new beginning from a younger Earth sign, Capricorn, or Virgo. <clears throat> All right, some of y'all, some of y'all twin flame left y'all out in the cold. Okay, and I feel like they're having they're currently between the 15th and 31st. I feel like they're currently having a towel moment. And karma is love, okay? And I feel like this person is coming back to communicate, but I feel like when they come back, you're going to be defensive. This could be you or the other person, Leo. I feel like for some of y'all, it definitely involves children, okay? Some of y'all could have someone that you have children with being defensive towards you, okay? But there will be truth and clarity had about someone who left somebody out in the cold. This person is definitely experiencing a time moment. This could also be a water sign, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. But some of y'all have been possibly watching. You want to have victory, okay? Maybe the communication with someone who you've been working with for the past couple of months. Maybe y'all communication has been a bit off, but you want to have victory with this person, and you're going to because you're going to take that leap of faith. You're going to take that leap of faith, and guess what? You run right into that victory. How about that? You're going to move forward, but you're going to have to leave something behind in order to move forward. Spirit, why is the death card here for my Leos? Why is the death card here? Definitely. Some of y'all are going to be cutting off a Scorpio in order to move forward with an Aries or a Gemini or another Leo like yourself or Earth sign. But I feel like in somebody's eyes, Leo, you're the one that got away. Or maybe somebody got away from you. For some of y'all, <laughs> you got the lovers. The Empress fell on top of the lovers. For some of y'all, you want to, you're going to create with this person. For some of y'all, that kid energy is in the air. When you got the sun and the empress in the building, this definitely involves children. Some of y'all are going to be getting pregnant. Or some of y'all are pregnant. Congratulations, sis. And some of y'all, they, they could be the truth and clarity that comes down. For some of y'all, if it's been an ego-filled situation and you find out you're pregnant, that baby was a catalytic, catalytic situation to, to tear down that ego and to get that truth and clarity. This is how I feel. I love you. Oh, I love you too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Bam. Now we feel. Now we can move forward and fix the issues. Some of y'all definitely have a possibly a, a Scorpio Cancer Pisces that you moved away from in the past, okay? That's coming back to communicate with you, okay? This person is coming out of introspection mode, or maybe you're in introspection mode, but they're funny. They finna come out, they come out and express themselves to you, Leo. And move forward because they're gonna express, hey, I know you're my twin. Okay, and it's gonna empower you. It's definitely gonna empower you. For some of you, this is somebody that you work with, could even be your boss. But I feel like if you've been waiting on the Aries to come back, your Aries coming back. Okay. However, some of y'all around this Aries, some of y'all could find find out some information that makes you feel a little betrayed. Okay, but I feel like that has to happen. The tower has to fall, y'all. Or regarding the Aries, maybe this Scorpio could have left you for Aries or something like that. You're going to get some information regarding the Aries. And I feel like it's definitely involving somebody in the past who maybe, maybe who feels like you got a, feels like you're the one that got away and possibly rejected you. Okay, but now they wanted to come in and balance the karma skills. Some of y'all who are coming 
funny when I said balance the karmic skills, 444, clear the cross screen. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Libra, and some of y'all could also be going through something with the justice system. Through the justice system, will y'all get karma between the 15th and the 31st of July? Some of y'all are going to get truth and clarity. Some of y'all are going to be moving away or have a Scorpio move away from you to go towards the Aries. Okay? Y'all come in and let me know what's going on because I definitely see Leo getting out of this crying over spilled milk energy or this could be around you. And karmic justice will be had, baby. Okay? With truth and clarity. Okay? And with that, it brings change as well as this magician energy. But some of y'all, you're definitely dealing with a Sagittarius as well. And this person will be coming in to see you very soon. They're gonna they're gonna come in very fast. And I feel like it's gonna hit it's gonna catch you off, off it's gonna catch you off guard. But it's definitely a child, truth and clarity involved, a little betrayal energy coming out of being left out in the cold, getting over that rejection, rejection energy, not crying over spilled milk, grounding yourself. Karma did her damn thing, okay, because she's the baddest bitch alive. Five fifteen fifty five fast. Five, 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 five brings change, honey. Change is a coming. It's coming. Somebody's going to get cut off, Leo. And I feel like this could be you or an air sign could be doing this to you. Or it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Sagittarius, or Aries. But somebody's going to be cut off. Y'all let me know how they work out in the comment section. I love y'all, my baby. This is what I have for y'all between the 15th and the 31st of July. Again, y'all personal readings are only $40 for 30-minute readings, and I'm not booked. I don't allow myself to get booked up like that. I'm an Aries, y'all know. I'm y'all fellow uh, sister fire sign. We get to that business. We don't even play like that. We don't let shit pile up on us. We get to it. So I love y'all very much. Mwah. Until me August, babies. I see y'all.